Are you feeling sleepy and your back is hurting and you're wondering if it could be signs of pregnancy that you're feeling? It's not so many days until your period is due. So now you're just wondering, okay, could I be pregnant or maybe is this just PMS? Well, listen to my video and I'll help you to understand what's going on with your body. Hi, I'm Vicky from Oh My Mama Body. I really love helping you to understand what's going on in your body so that you feel really clear and confident about yourself. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching my video today and a warm welcome here. Please do hit the subscribe button so that you can get some more really great and informed videos that help to answer your questions really quickly. Let's start with sleepiness. Can sleepiness be a sign of early pregnancy? Well, it could be, but it also couldn't be. But let me explain why, so that you really understand what's going on. This is really important that you really know why. So towards the end of your menstrual cycle, so you're getting towards your period, you've got more progesterone. The hormone progesterone is higher in your body before your period starts. And at the same time, if you're pregnant and in early pregnancy, the progesterone hormone is also high. So this is why it's a bit hard to figure out. And progesterone helps you to sleep. It enhances sleep. It's there to help you and your body in early pregnancy, that your body does get that relaxation that it needs whilst you're growing that tiny little human being. So this is why sleepiness is quite a difficult symptom to go by. But hold on there, okay? I've got a really great video called 12 Early Signs of Pregnancy. There'll be a link coming up over here. Go and watch it after you've watched this video because it really helps you to identify other pregnancy symptoms in your body. I had seven pregnancies and I'm really in tune with my body. And those really early symptoms were things that I felt long before any pregnancy test was showing positive for me. So do go and watch that one afterwards. So let's go on to backache, feeling backache. Now, these feelings of backache can happen in really early pregnancy and they can also be a sign of PMS. Now, I felt backache as well, but I felt really clear differences between the type of backache that was a pregnancy backache and the type of backache that is a PMS backache. I have another really in-depth video about telling the difference between those PMS symptoms and if you're pregnant, if you're in early pregnancy. So there'll be a link coming up here. Also, if you go down in the video description, there's an arrow here or here. Check those out because there's loads of really great information that you can find on my website and links to other videos and so much support that's available for you from Oh My Mama Body. So go and check out all of that afterwards. And let's talk about this backache that you're feeling. How does it feel? So think about what you normally feel as backache on your monthly cycle. Do you get backache just before your period is about to start? How many days before your period does this backache normally start? Do you notice it? Does it feel kind of heavy as in weighing down? Do you start feeling your whole womb as well that starts to get a bit heavier? Those dull kind of cramps are more the PMS cramps, the ones that you're getting before your period is about to start. So thinking about pregnancy cramps, now pregnancy cramps are very, very different. They are one-sided in, in the front of you. So if you think about your abdominal area, your womb area, there it's very one-sided and it's almost like a a type of pinprick that happens when you've felt implantation and after that, kind of a burrowing feeling and a slightly different kind of cramping feeling around that area. And it's very clear with the one-sidedness that it's pregnancy rather than your period about to start. Another way to tell the difference between the cramps is that pregnancy cramping, because many women do get pregnancy cramping very, very early on, you know, after implantation, your womb starts to change and it starts to grow and needs to adjust and that's what caused pregnancy cramping. And it's a very different kind of cramping because it's more stretching. If you think about that PMS cramping, it's heavy, it's weighing down. You know, everything's about to come out again. You're gonna start a new cycle. But with pregnancy, it's building up, it's building up. Your lining is building up. 
your womb is starting to stretch because your body is getting ready for that new baby. Now, please know not everyone experiences this in the same way. This is the way I always experienced my pregnancies and it might be something that you can identify with as well. So really feel into that, like I've just explained to you and really compare the symptoms that you've had in previous months compared to what you're feeling now and see if you feel those little differences. I've got loads of other tips in my videos on my channel about really early signs of pregnancy before a missed period. I really recommend that you try checking your cervix. If you're not familiar with checking your cervix, then I've got two videos that explain how to check your cervix and also where it is, where to find it and why it's a great thing to be able to track. So look at the links coming up here and also down in the video description. You'll find loads to really help you out. And please do leave a comment and let us know how you're getting on. And if you do get your BFP, your big fat positive, or if you're going to be trying again in the next month. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye for now.